Today we're going to learn about containers inside HTML and the reason I want to spend one episode talking about containers is because usually when we make a website we spit all the content into boxes and this is something that we can kind of tell on a lot of websites so I thought today we're going to talk about you know how we split up the content inside websites. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my browser here and I did actually find three websites that we're going to look at just so you guys can see what I talk about when I talk about containers because it was to look at the website I have here which is just my basic website that just has a piece of text inside of it. You guys can see we can't really tell that anything is inside boxes. So let's actually go and take a look at three random examples that I found and the first one is something called Night People. Now inside this website here. You guys can kind of tell that we have a bunch of content. We have a logo, we have a navigation, we have a login, and then we have some content down on the page here. Now, one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is that when we go to a website, we can kind of divide all the content into boxes. Now, right now, if we were to take a look at this website, at least the front page, when we enter the website for the first time, you guys can see we have an entire video playing in the background here with some content inside the video. Now what we can actually do here is we can actually go ahead and say that, well, we have one big box here with a video in it. And inside this box here, we have more boxes. So we have one box for the header, which is the part up here with the navigation and logo and the login buttons. All of these are inside one box that are grouped together. So we can actually have content that goes together inside a box for themselves. Then we have some text down here that says we unite construction business, blah, 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 which is also going to be inside a separate box for itself. So everything inside a website is inside boxes. If we were to scroll down, you guys can see that the box with the video in it actually disappears. And we have another box that has our sectors inside of it. So we have an entire box here that has a white background with another box inside of it that has content such as a header, it has a piece of text and four different links inside of it. So if we keep scrolling down, you guys can also see we have a map. This is also a box that has a map inside of it. And we have a sidebar over in the left side, which is also a box that has content inside of it. So everything inside the website is made out of boxes. It would take the next example here. You guys can see we have a head at the top here. Now it's a bit more clear to see that we do actually have a box inside uh, the top of the website here. So we have a logo, we have a navigation and the login button. And all of this is inside a very wide box that has all the content. If we were to go a bit further down, you guys can see we have a video with a bit of content on the right side here, which is also inside a box inside this box that contains the video. So again, everything is inside boxes. So all of these websites here that I'm looking at, even though they might seem complicated, all the content are going to be put inside boxes. So if I were to go inside the code of my website here, you guys can see that right now we don't actually have any boxes inside the code. Right now we just have a paragraph. And the way we can create boxes inside our code is either using HTML elements, which we talked about in the previous episode. For example, if we have a article, which right now is actually a box that does actually have a purpose inside the browser. So an article would actually have related content inside of it. So article does have a specific purpose for which content should go inside of it, inside our website. Now, if I want to create a box that has no purpose inside the website that I can just use any place that I want to group content together, such as the paragraph down here, and maybe if I were to create a H2 tag that has this is the title, and then the paragraph then is going to be, you know, whatever text belongs to the title. If I want to group this together inside a box so I can move around the content using styling, which we're gonna talk about in the next episode, because in order to actually tell the browser where we want the content, we need to style our code inside the website. So right now, if we were to just save this, you guys can see that the text is just going to be up in the corner. And if I want to move it around, such as centering it, or changing the text so it doesn't look this boring, we need to do it using CSS. And we call that styling the HTML. So we're not gonna talk about that yet, and we're gonna do that in the next episode. But if I were to put this inside a box, I can actually go ahead and create something called a div. Now a div, like I said, is just an empty element. And I can actually go ahead and take my tags here and put them inside the div. So right now we have these grouped inside a box. 
And we can actually go ahead, if I want to move around the h2 tag and the paragraph inside the website, I can just go ahead and style the div tag here, which like I said, we do using CSS in order to move around the content inside of it. So if I were to go back inside one of the websites we looked at, for example, we could take humankind, I can go ahead and scroll down into some section inside the website, such as this one, you guys can see we have some content on the left side and we have some content on the right side. If I want to take a look at what we do actually have inside the website, I can actually go ahead and right click, which is a small trick that I can actually show you guys in order to see the code of any kind of website. And this is not something that you can block. Anyone can go to your website and see the code, at least the front end code that we code using HTML and CSS. So in order to see this code, we can right click on the website. For example, want to see the code of this specific section here, I can right click on it, go to inspect. And then you guys can see we get this small window here with code inside of it. And this is actually the code inside the actual website, at least when it comes to the front end part. So what I can do here, as you guys can see, when I hover on these different uh, sections inside the code, is that it does actually highlight the code, or at least the, the content that I hover on inside the code. So if you want to see that, well, as you guys can see, this specific section here with the two different contents, so you guys can see that everything is inside one box. If we were to go inside this div here, which you guys can actually see, this is actually the div box that I showed you guys. So if we were to go inside of it, inside my tool here, we can actually see that this content in here is split up into more boxes. So we have the left box, and if we were to go here, we have the right box. So we can actually see what is actually going on inside the front end code when we use this developer tool inside any kind of browser. So as we continue this course here, I'm actually going to show you guys how we're going to use these boxes such as the div box or some of the other HTML elements inside our website. So we can actually split up the content inside these boxes that I'm talking about. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.